currently on my way to Tucson. I am headed there for the weekend. Actually, not the whole weekend, just Saturday. And I come back tomorrow, Sunday. I'm going for my aunt's birthday. This is the first birthday that my mom and aunt, they're twins, that they are not celebrating together. So it is kind of crazy. I've made it to Tucson. Oh my God, shut up, you weirdo. Rupert's been hawking for some reason, and it's the most annoying thing because he just starts hawking like a, why do dogs, why do they do that? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Are you good, bro? I just, uh, shut the f up. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like shut up you're ruining my vibe so I just got to I just got to my grandma's in Tucson she is actually out of town so it's just me here this weekend which is kind of nice it's kind of it's gonna feel like my own little private Airbnb Rupert loves it too come on all right please relax a little overexcited Rupert is a great little travel companion he comes with me to Tucson every time that I come, and he does really well in the car, which is lovely. Right now he's just exploring, since it's like a very big deal in a dog's brain. He's, he's very excited. I don't know where I want to eat. I feel like when I come to Tucson, I want to eat food that perhaps is only in Tucson. I'm here for my aunt's birthday dinner. It's at 5 p.m. Right now it's about 12.30, so it's not for a while. So I think I'm gonna go grab a bite and then figure out what I'm gonna do next. The drive from Tucson, from Phoenix to Tucson is pretty short. It's only two hours, but I, it, I'm tired. I get tired. Those drives, they get to me. It makes me a little tired. I'm a little old lady. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my suitcase and then figure out what I'm gonna eat. Hello. Let's see if I can balance this camera on my knee. <laughs> so, what did I do? <laughs> I went into my grandma's kitchen and I actually just, I ate a can of tuna because I, entered that state of ravenousness where I felt like if I don't eat something right now, I might faint on the drive to Foodville. Like wherever food was gonna be, I was worried that on my journey from there to food, I would faint in the car. I know that's dramatic, but hey man. I am kind of a dramatic person and so I ate a can of tuna and then I went to Einstein's bagels and I got a bajal and it was delicious. It was an everything bagel with cream cheese, simple, and then, and then I made a mistake at Einstein's. This is the third time I make this mistake because I'm the kind of person that likes to give chances. You know, I don't like to judge an establishment off of one experience and then write that establishment off. My mistake was ordering a latte, an almond milk iced latte from there. My gut feeling, my intuition told me, Fernanda, there's a Starbucks right next door. Just get your bagel here and then walk over to Starbucks and get your, your coffee. But then the little, like I have an inner voice sometimes that's overly optimistic. And so the little inner voice inside of me told me, Fernanda, get this. Give them another chance. Maybe you just got unlucky. Maybe the other Einstein bagels where they made your latte and it was not good, maybe those were just like those locations. You know, just give Einstein bagels another shot. So I did, I ordered a medium almond milk iced latte. It was disgusting. Like I normally, I'm not very dramatic or picky about coffee. I'm kind of like, hey man, if I can feel the caffeine, <laughs> I'm good, I'm so Gucci. But I, I tasted it. The bagel, the bagels at Einstein's, I heard from a friend of a friend that that bagel was a 10 out of 10. The bagels are, amazing i highly recommend the bagels but the coffee 
the lattes. I can just tell that they just use whatever coffee's in the pot. Is my, my contour is a mess. Like I smudged it with my glasses, but whatever, you know, life goes on. I don't think that they make like a real latte where they make some espresso and then mix it with ice and whatever milk of choice you like. I have a strong feeling I didn't see, so I cannot, I, I didn't actually watch her make it. So I can't say this with 100% factual conviction. It tastes like it's just kind of whatever coffee's left over, maybe like on a coffee pot. And then they mix it with some ice and milk. It was really gross. And then I had an internal battle about it. I was like, I should go back in and just tell them, hey, this coffee isn't good. Can I get my money back? Because then it would be like, yo, this is so bad that I can't even drink it. And I'm coming back into this establishment to let you know that I can't drink this shit. It's shit. It's bad. That's, that, that is so not, I'm so conflict avoidant. And this was one of those moments where it just would have been good for me to do it. <sighs> And then if they said no, then at least I tried. I wasn't going to be a Karen and be like, let me talk to your manager because they're not a coffee shop. You know, like they're not, that's not where they've stuck their stake in the ground. They are a bagel shop. And so maybe it's a strategic move for them to make shitty coffee because they're like, don't fucking come here for the coffee. We just make it for show. Maybe they're just like, please come here for a bagel and be respectful of our bagel making abilities. Maybe that's why they make shitty coffee. Maybe I just figured out their strategy. But also how badass would it be if they made amazing coffee? Like if you were like, I gotta go to Einstein Bagels and someone's like, you like bagels? You're like, no, their coffee is just amazing. I feel like there's a missed opportunity there because this is the third Einstein's Bagels that I go to where the coffee was just really not good. <sighs> wow, I feel like I've been talking about this for a long time, so I'm gonna shut up. So what I ended up doing, I threw the whole damn thing away and then I just went to the store. <laughs> I just went to the fucking Starbucks next door and got a real almond milk latte. Service, service with a smile. I don't even know why I'm lisping. I don't even have my retainer in right now. But right now I am just chilling for how much chill time do I have left? 12 minutes. I got 12 minutes of chill time. I, I feel like my makeup looks, oh, I have... <laughs> I need to brush my teeth. I have bagel seeds in my teeth. <laughs> Dexy. I poured myself a little glass of wine because I don't know. I love having an evening glass of wine. I feel like it's so sexy and luxurious and it's just like bougie. Like it's just like boutique alcoholism. It just makes me feel like an adult. I'm like, oh. Had a hard day of doing nothing. I must pull myself a glass of wine. Um, so I'm gonna start getting ready in a little bit. And then after eating my bajel, I went to the mall, which I don't even know why I went to the mall. Like I couldn't tell you. I just was like, I haven't, I hate malls a lot. Like I hate them with a passion. It's just too, especially on the weekends. I take it back. I don't hate malls. I hate malls on the weekend because there's just too many people. So I went to the mall. I don't even know what I was looking for. I think I just wanted to walk around since I had been in the car for two, hours and 15 minutes driving. I wanted to move my body and walk around. So I did, but I did kind of regret it. It was crazy. The mall was just crazy packed. There was a shit ton of people. I was like, why am I here? So then right when I was about to leave, I was walking by Forever 21 and I was like, I should just pop in there. I haven't been in there in a really long time. I was looking maybe for a cute top to wear tonight because I have some stuff, but I'm not sure if I want to wear it, but I'm going to have to wear it now because that's what I have. Let's see if I find a cute top or a cute dress. I went into Forever 21. Not doing that again. Not doing that again. There was just nothing for me there anymore. Everything's too small and bad quality. I tried on two shirt, four shirts. One didn't fit, three looked bad. Moral of the story is, I think my Forever 21 days are over. Also because I'm 35 and I just feel like Forever 21 is like, it just reminds me of like me dressing like a hoochie in my college years. So maybe that's why I have a weird association with it. It's a me issue. I haven't decided. I think I'm just gonna touch up the makeup that I have because it needs a little bit of cleaning up because I've sweated a bit. My makeup is looking better. Like I've been watching Harouche tutorial videos and Harouche is 
a phenomenal makeup artist and teacher apparently because if I can learn how to do my makeup better, anybody can. Love this for me. I learned how to kind of set my makeup in a way that it lasts longer because I was just looking a little bit unfortunate for a while there with my makeup routine. And now I'm, I'm learning, I'm growing. <laughs> Anyways, I will, I will check back later. I'm gonna enjoy my eight minutes left of chill time and I'll see you later. I'm tired. It is 9 something p.m. I just got back from my aunt's dinner and it was a really nice time. It was at this place called Locale in Tucson and I liked it. The food was amazing. I got a lasagna, which I ate way too much of, like way too much. <laughs> I ate way too fast. Like I got so excited for my food that I just like inhaled it. I inhaled it and my tummy's a little bit on the fritz. Right now I'm gonna wash my face and do my skincare routine and just probably chill out in bed for a bit and then go to sleep. I love coming to Tucson because it just I find it incredibly grounding and recharging. My soul needs this. Like I get too caught up in my, the bullshit of stupid shit in my life in Phoenix. When I see my family, I just remember that, ugh, there's just so much more to life than the things that I worry about. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna wash my face. I have my little mini youth to the people kale. I love this, but it's very expensive. This little bottle is only like $10, which is a nice little travel size, but the full size is like 36 and I just can't justify paying $36 for something I'm gonna wash down the sink every night. I think you can probably tell in my face that I'm really tired. My battery is like on zero. My introvert ass self is like drained, but it was a beautiful night and I'm really happy that I came down. If it's your bedtime, good night. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, this hair. Mm, girl. I feel like women, we are the ultimate catfish. What we look like in the morning, oh, spit bubble. What we look like in the morning and what we look like on date night is two totally, completely different people. I just woke up and fed the dog. Well, I woke up actually like an hour and a half ago, but I laid in bed and just watched TikToks and chilled. <sighs> I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get my face on and my brain on by getting some coffee. And then I'm gonna go visit my aunt and my cousins for a bit. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this little dude out to go potty and get my day going and then go back to Phoenix today. Good Lord. <laughs> Tell me I'm pretty.